What about high-end retailers? High-end. Really high-end? Yeah, like Saks Fifth. I'll give you one. Saks Fifth is one. Okay. Uh, Bergdorf, Goodman. Okay, now you're, you're really upscale here. Okay. But, but Nordstrom's is another one. Bloomingdale's another. These three own a large percentage of the, of the market, right? So the rule of three, uh, it's kind of a pattern you see, right? Um, as you're buying things. So for instance, what are the three largest airlines? United, American, Delta. Delta. What are the three largest wireless phone carriers? AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile. And who has T-Mobile just joined? They're merging with another one. Sprint? Yeah. So that's three left, right? Mm -hmm. So the rule of three refers to this kind of oligopoly. Oligopolies is when a couple of industries, usually three, predominate in an industry. and They control how that industry works. And what that does is it makes products expensive for people like you and me, contrary to how things should work, because the more you make something, the cheaper the parts get, the more the experiences, and the prices come down when products get commoditized, right? But it's the opposite in many industries, okay? Second thing is the vendors that sell to these companies, part makers, and then employees, the, the people that these companies pay salaries to, they make less, okay? Because what's Apple's incentive, for instance, to pay its employees more when Apple and Samsung control and Huawei control the majority of the of the smartphone market? You also then see, you also start seeing things like a slowdown in innovation. When was the last time an airline industry, the airlines innovated? What you have now in the airline service sector is what you used to have 10 years ago, right? So that's the rule of three. It basically says that um, companies there's three of, of most, they're consolidating, nobody's stopping them really, and what that means is prices go up while your wages go down, and that's why it's harder and harder for people to buy stuff. And the real world consequences of this are that people have to work more, they may have to get a second job, which means they spend less time focused on their health, less time raising their kids because they're working a lot harder, maybe working two jobs, and very importantly, less time getting educated about how to vote and what issues to vote about.